Hello, friends. I'm Shirley. Welcome to the cultural history. Speaking of rising in the day, you may think, "Hi, this kind of thing just appears in fairy tales." This is completely unheard of in official history. Actually, in China's thousands of years of history, there really is a person who ascended into the sky in broad daylight in full view of the crowd. This matter is officially recognized. It's recorded in official history. It happened in Tang Dynasty, just over a thousand years ago. In November 794 AD, the Tang Empire, a new broke out. After Emperor Tang Dezong heard this news, he was startled. What happened? It turns out on the 12th day. In Nanchang, Sichuan, it was called Guozhou at that time. 27-year-old female Taoist priest Zizaran. She actually upsoared in the daytime in full view of everyone. This is not a special effect or an illusion. Thousands of people saw it with their own eyes. And before she ascended, she also left 50 to words on the wall. What is the word? We will say at the end. Let's tell the story from the beginning. Zizuran was born in Shandong later moved to Nanchang, Sichuan. Her father's name is Zihuan, who is former secretary and provincial secretary. Is it equivalent to the position of national library? Her mother, Zhu, was born into a wealthy local family. Zizuran is a very smart girl. Being a vegetarian since childhood, she never touched meat. When she was seven years old, her mother asked her to study Buddhism with two nuns one But less than a year, the little girl ran home. It turns out she likes to practice Taoism. Zizaran's home is at the foot of Defeng Mountain. There is an ancient statue of Taisheng Laojin on the top one day, of the mountain. She went up the mountain to just her thinking respect. about it. She said to herself, I won't I'll live here. Her mother let she do what she wanted, so she moved to the top of the mountain. Reading Tao Te Ching and Yellow Emperor's Inner Canon, Huang when she was 14 years old, she started to end eating only cypress leaves, one stick every day. At the age of 20, she even quit eating the cypress leaves. 22 years old, she didn't even drink water anymore. During this period, she also met with the famous Taoist Cheng Ting, who him a copy of the 500 word Purple Spirit Treasure. Cheng takes a pass the provincial level imperial examination. Later, he lived in seclusion, and he had profound enlightenment in Taoism. Lived up to later, he was named the Grand Master, Grand Master of Daoji by Emperor Song Renzong. Crackdown on counterfeiting. Zi Ziran's father, Zi Huan, was a Confucian scholar very When he returned home after traveling abroad for several years, he takes Why is there an extra Taoist in the family? And this monastic daughter didn't even eat anything. He can't help but get angry. My family has been Confucian for generations. Anything that is not Confucian is not the right way. How come you are such a monster? The words have not yet fallen. He locked his daughter in a dark room. I wonder room. if you are still playing monstrous trick. But what he never expected was that more than 40 days had passed. His daughter didn't eat anything, but she becomes more refreshing and refined. Her dad was completely dumbfounded. Three views are shattered to pieces. Later, in the records about Zi Ziran, no more words from her dad. April of the sixth year of when Zi Ziran was 23 years old, Han Yan, the governor of Guozhou, took office. He heard office. rumors Zi Ziran is a person who does not eat the fireworks of the world. Thinking that this is pretending to be a ghost to confuse the public with monstrous words, that's okay. He decided to have a crackdown on counterfeiting, expose the scam, and clear out evil At the same time, it would contribute to his own reputation and political achievement. He immediately ordered Zi Ziran to be arrested. In the East Pavilion of the Biting of Guanjin Prefecture Not office, to mention food. Even a drop of water was forbidden. He also sent people to I monitor want to closely. See if without eating or drinking. How long can this girl last? Out of his expectation, many days have passed. Without a drop of water, Z is as normal as usual. The governor murmured in his heart. Weeks passed. The governor is on pins and needles. Oops, what is going on? Is it true that she does not eating the food of common mortals? Then am I not wronging a wise man? If this is true, where can I put this old face of mine? No, I shall continue to observe carefully. One oversight would cost me a lot. Day by day passes. 
Han Yi is getting more and more anxious every day, tossing and turning at night, suffering by insomnia. Months have passed. Of course, Xi, who was in prison, is still alive. Han Yan has never been so eager to hope time can go back. Eventually, Han Yan took a deep breath, decided to put on a high profile. This day, he led the whole family. Arrive at the biting east pavilion of the prefectural wow. office as the heavy iron lock opens. Xi Ziran finally got out of the prison. At the door is a luxurious lineup of Han Yi and his family. Obviously, this is a gesture of apology. Han Yan says Xi Ziran, I can't help but admire in my heart. This girl's skin is still so good. Her voice is still so loud and full of energy when she speaks. This is a real master. Then he suddenly seemed to have an idea. Let his daughter Han Ziming worship Xi Ziran as her teacher. The Han family also welcomed a new Taoist priest. A year and a half passed when Xi Ziran was 20. Han Yan came to Defang Mountain in person. A dedicated altar was set up. He invited Cheng Taixu to read three caverns. He asked Xi to move to the suburbs of the prefecture and county. In the ninth year of Zhenyuan 793, this governor Li also liked to practice Taoism. To the when Xi Ziran was 26 years old, she said to Li Jian, It's not convenient for me to live in the suburbs. I prefer places with mountains and rivers. Li Jian built a Jing house for her in Jingquan Mountain so that she can continue to practice there. Ziziran's monastery is far from a woman's boudoir. It's simply a land of hidden dragons and crouching tigers. Two tigers came from nowhere, following her like a loyal pet. When it saw someone coming, it jumped away and disappeared. There are still a few long snakes lingering around. Ziziran occasionally complains to people. Indoor air is bad. She accidentally stepped on the snake. It makes the soles of her feet feel cold. Her parents don't dare to enter her house casually. In addition to these special roommates, Xi Ziran also claims there are eight angels and boys in green clothes always accompany her. There are also two gods. Standing guard at her door, looks like a door god. As soon as she goes out, these gods will become her escorts, exorcism and protection. She said, there is a mountain god named Chen Shu. Originally from the Wei and Jin dynasty, saying Xi Ziran get the title of Dongji Zenren. This is really strange. But think about it. The crackdown on counterfeiting experienced by her father and the It's unlikely that these words are just made up. A fairy descends to the world of mortals. According to Typing Guang, quoting the records in Yongcheng collection of March Immortals, March 3rd of the 10th year of Genuan Xi Ziran is 27 years old. Go to Jinquan Dojo. The weather and scenery that day were different. It's so bright that all the gods in the heavens have descended on the earth. Xi Ziran also said, Today, immortals in heaven, they're all gathered here. At Jinquan Dojo, she began to practice with great concentration. There are not only the tigers around, there are also five colorful unicorns. One of the purple ones is particularly interesting with white mane and white tail, and like to be very clean. He can also use his tail to sweep the floor like a broom. There are also two green mythical birds flying around. What's even more amazing is deities often visit here. Send delicacies and elixirs from the fairy world. July 22nd who is coming? Queen Mother. The Queen Mother rides on her luxury airplane, a mythical bird-related female. Some of the attendants around me are riding dragons, someone riding Slowly a descending in colorful clouds and mist. The Queen Mother specifically expressed that she came to the state to visit the immortal. When she left, she disappeared in a cloud of steaming clouds. At this time, Zhaoqing is very lively, localities reported one after another. There is a rainbow spanning the entire city. The next day, the governor Li Jian couldn't help but ask Xi Ziran. Xi Ziran smiled, say, that's right, deities from fairyland indeed you mortals are also blessed. A report was also sent to the Ziji Palace Taoist Temple, Cheng Hong enters, we all saw it. October 11th Xi Ziran is practicing in a quiet room. Suddenly an immortal came to call, gave her an extremely gorgeous heavenly garment. She put on her usual clothes, put on rope bed, put on heavenly clothes, then ride on the unicorn and fly up to heaven. 
When she returns, changing into her old clothes again, she gives heavenly clothes to a white crane to take it away. Although she hasn't eaten a grain of rice in 13 years, she has extraordinary abilities. She can walk a thousand miles or 800 miles a day. She can be also invisible. No one can see her. In the dark night, she can also see better than an owl. No cotton padded jacket in winter, no fans in summer. Want to know the good or bad future? One will get a correct answer by asking But her. she is serious, tight-lipped. She doesn't tell even to her parents easily. Only Li Jian, who advocates was lucky enough to hear her talk about some interesting things and about Taoist the And mystical principles, she emphasized. In chanting scripture, it's all about carefulness, not about number of times. Those who follow the Tao would suffer more losses if retreat midway. It's better to be someone who doesn't know how to be do cautious. it in the first place. Fly up on a white day. November 9th, Z came to the state. Go say goodbye to Li Jian, saying, I must leave in the middle of this month. This is simply a preview of the live broadcast of Ascension to 20th Jinquan Dojo became a large fairy ascension scene. Crowded of thousands of people watched. At 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning, Zizuran ascended during the day at Jinquan Dojo. Her grandmother Zhou, Mother Zhu, Sister Ziziru, Disciple Li Shen, heard her farewell words. Only by practicing diligently can one attain the Tao. After a while, colorful clouds cover the entire mountaintop. At the same time, immortal music and fragrance filled the air. The clothes she took off, left intact on the rope bed. Every knot is the same as before. And when Z ascends, 52. Characters written on the east wall of the hall. Message to the host and their dependents. Take the thing as it is with your body, don't be miserable. You can cultivate merit and virtue diligently, as well as good intentions. Building virtue, being on a diet, and reciting Tao's After a hundred calamities, hope for good predestination. Meeting you in the original and pure home soon. This shocking thing was presented to Li Shi, Emperor Tang Daezong by Li Jian and Wei Gao, the governor of Zikuan. Emperor Tang Daezong issued an edict. It is called Book of Ascension by the female Taoist Zizu Ranri of Chiguo Prefecture. Praising her. Local officials carved the edict on a stone tablet so that it can be passed down to future In generations. Wang, current Sichuan This province. edict was also included. As for Li Jian, he wrote a short biography about Zizu Ran's deeds. It's called the biography of Dong Ji Zenren, although it has been lost now. But in the 20 for histories, in volume 65 of New Book there is also a table of contents and summary of this book. Li Jian also erected the Jinquan Taoist monument in Jinquan Taoist narrating the biography of Zi Zizuran's ascension to heaven from beginning to end. Zi Zizuran's flying in the day caused a sensation all over the world but some at the time. people are unhappy. Who? For example, Han Yu, the leader of the eight he is one year younger than Zi and Song Dynasty. He was 26, an already successful candidate Han in the one of the eight immortal service is his great nephew. But Han Yu himself did not believe in God when he was young. After he heard about Zi Zuran becoming an immortal, he wrote it angrily a five-character ancient poem of 500 words. Poetry of Zi Zuran. Han Yu was not present. So there is no way to deny that thousands of people are watching. You can't imagine that local officials have the courage to deceive superiors so he and conceal their in a lies. strange way. Including process, seeing officials witness, and ascend like a cicada. Which means I didn't see it anyway. Even if you beat me to death, I won't believe Han it. Yu is stubborn. Until later, his good nephew Han Zhang only by showing him a miracle in person did things change. In another video, I talked about Han Yu, Yeping Mountain in Nanchang, the place where Zi Zuran and where she once lived. Ruins such as Zishan Stone Chamber and Buxa Terrace for ascending during Soaring the day. in the day is an historically strange thing. Shocked the ruling and opposition parties, spreading Shijin to later generations, who belongs to the same era as her. Composed a poem titled Zizuran Immortality for this reason. It's clear Zizuran has obtained Tao. Antidote from ancient times, taking about immortals a young woman like a flower. Riding on a white crane and traveling in the sky. 好，今天的分享就到这里了。我是雪莉，感谢您的观看，我们下次节目再见。